what we do. Did he? I don't know what to tell you. I mean, you know, right. it's just, it's just, that's the guy that needs to right. finish it down, you know? It's the guy. So it now, at least I, I think it is, you know? Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. Maybe it's, uh, maybe it's my definition of insanity. I don't know, but I just, I just believe in the kid, you know? I'm just, when we get the big swings there in the late inning, extend it to, well, I don't know what it was, 11-5 or what have you. But I'm just thinking we can get three outs before they score six runs. It wasn't a matter of him being taxed or anything from the other night. It certainly could be. Yeah, you know, it could be. He's in great shape. Um, wanted the ball. You know, he says he feels good. He's fine. You know, I didn't hear anything different. So, you know. Um, but yeah, there, there is something to it, you know. We talked about in the pregame with Graf before, you know. It's like um, when we have to tax Chooch, you know, and Cincinnati because we don't get a start, and then all of a sudden it affects us on Tuesday against UNO, and then, you know, we run him out there for a little bit of extended, and, you know, here we are tonight. And so obviously, you know, the correlation of the outcome that maybe he wasn't um, juiced, you know. and. You know, I could have done a lot of different things, you know. Um, could have taken him out after some of the balls that were being thrown, but, you know, if I'm pretty much telling you that if I'm not making a move there, then that's the guy I trust right there, and I don't know if I have it behind him. Did he say anything? I mean, what, what happened there? Just lost command, yeah. Just didn't throw the ball to the plate. So I think in their six runs they got, I don't know how many of them really even left the, the infield, you know, so. Justin Campbell came in and gave you guys a chance to win after all that. Yeah. I mean, how frustrating is it? Yeah, it is frustrating, you know. He did a good job, you know. Hindsight 2020, you know. I guess I should have went to him earlier, but, uh, you know, got to some situations where Pellerin was going and you know threw a couple balls I didn't want to really have to bring somebody in the middle of the count so to speak I've done it before but I was just like come on you know we he's, he's gonna do this he's gonna recover he's older now he's wiser he's capable you know I just was thinking that he was gonna make an in-game adjustment which baseball is repetitions and adjustments and um, you know he couldn't do it so shame on me for um, you know allowing him to stay out there uh, as long as he did but you know and then you get another ball that's game over into a cue ball and it works its way back into the field and you know we fall down and just can't secure the out and end the game right there so Trent, uh, Trent Johnson also had a chance to, to win the game and he did that and he also threw a wild pitch after mm -hmm. that just uh, yeah and now you you're asking me why I leave Peller in the game I'm not actually I'm well you know <laughs> but you know what I mean yeah. 